Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I want to share a dream given to me on the 1st of January 2019. On the last days of 2018, it's on the 31st of December night before the turn of the year. I pray that in the new year I can walk closer to God, the more clearly hear His voice. And I also pray that I can be used by God even more in everything. And looks like before I waking up, I got the dream. In this dream, I was watching a quiz show on television. Then the host or MC gives a question. And the question is, what is the religion of most Americans? And the text was appeared on the screen. It seems that there are some several answer options available like we saw in the screen ABC and I try to guess the answer I think most Americans are Christians maybe they mostly go to Pentecostal mega church so I choose the answer is charismatic and there are also the second option answer that is in two words but I not really understand what the meaning so I don't choose it but lately my answer is not correct the MC said the answer is not charismatic I was surprised when the the MC said that the answer is that is the second option that is that two word that I don't understand it's in my language But if I translate it in English, it means empty foundation. And still in the dream, I was wondered what this word meant. Because these two words in my language, it forms unusual words. When pondering the meaning of this word, I saw another word appear. It's like potter or pottery. Then the dream ended and I woke up, and it's already in the morning. As I woke up, the dream is still still so clear on my mind, and I was thinking about the words I saw in the dream. The first word means empty, blank, meaningless, or vain. And the second word, it's an engineering term, refer to a kind of foundation And I tried to search on the Google the picture of it. It's almost like this, brothers and sisters. It refers to a foundation stone. Foundation stone of the building. After having this dream, I wrote or saved it on my computer. I got summed up whether I should share it or not on YouTube. I also asked the Lord if this really from Him, just maybe give some confirmation. Then later, but later then I think better not to share it, and I just kept it. And on the 17th of January 2019, accidentally I saw a video on YouTube It's a preaching from Pastor Neville Johnson and I was shocked when I saw the picture and the title of the video and I was reminded to the dream I had about the foundation stone. And the picture is like this and the title is Jesus Christ the Ladder, the Foundation Stone. It is said on the video that the foundation of the church and our individual life should be the teaching of Jesus. And I share the link on the video on the description box if brothers and sisters want to watch it. But still because of many things going on, I keep not thinking to share the video because and And also beside that, uh, also, I'm not so clear about the message, so I just wait and keep it.
but on the 22nd of January 2019, I watched again a video accidentally from Swift Passage Ministry and I got a confirmation about the word pottery I saw in the dream. It is taken from Jeremiah chapter 18. I know this pottery story is in the Bible, but I was not read it yet from I got the dream. And after watch the video, I opened the Bible and read it. And I was amazing, amazing about the message I found there. I really feel that this is the message from the Lord. And because of this, I'm sure I have to share this video. I think this is also the warning for America. Let us read from Jeremiah chapter 18. Let us read from verse 5. And the word of the Lord came to me. He said, Can I not do with you, Israel, as this potter does, declares the Lord. Likely in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, Israel. If at any time I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be uprooted, torn down, and destroyed, and if the nation I warn repents of its evil, then I will relent and not inflict in the disaster I had planned. And if at another time I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be built up and planted, and if it does evil in my sight, and does not obey me, then I will reconsider the good I had intended to do for it. Now therefore, say to the people of Judah and those living in Jerusalem, that is what the Lord says, Look, I am preparing a disaster for you, and devising a plan, plan against you. So turn from your evil ways, each one of you, and reform your ways and your actions. But they will reply, It's no use. We will continue with our own plans. We will all follow the stubbornness of our evil hearts. And about the foundation stone, let us read from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27. The wise and the foolish builders. Therefore, anyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, that house. Yet it did not fall because it has its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice it's like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew, and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. This verse from uh, verse 24 to 27 was related to the chapter 5 to 7 of Matthew. All of that is the teaching of Jesus that I think we should use as an ultimate standard to build uh, the foundation of our individual life and also the church. And we remember not only to read it, we should put them into practice. If we do so, then we build our life on the solid rock, the cornerstone of Jesus Christ. The storm is coming because we are in the end times and everyone's work will be tested by fire that come upon us in these last days. And let us see Matthew chapter 5 to 7. The title is Introduction to the Sermon on the Mount. It's including the Beatitudes salt and light, fulfillment of the law, murder, adultery, divorce, 
odds, eye to eye, love your love for enemies, giving to the needy, prayer, fasting, treasures in heaven. Do not worry, judging others. Ask, seek, and knock. The narrow and wide gates, true and false prophets, true and false disciples, and the wise and the foolish builders. The time is so close now, brothers and sisters. Please come more closer to Jesus. It's not time to look warm anymore. Build your relationship with Jesus. Admit your sins and repent. He will accept you. He loves you so much. Come to Him now and don't delay. He will accept you and forgive you. And that's all I'd like to share about my dream. And if brothers and sisters have any comments, can contact me or share it in the comments box below. And if you need a prayer, you can write an email to me on the description box below. I will pray for you. And be ready, brothers and sisters. Keep praying, keep watching, and focus on Jesus. He is coming soon. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters. And may Lord be us always, and thank you for listening.